in studio, we have a gentleman that comes highly recommended from a show regular and favorite, Nikki Clue. He is the president of MMD Construction, Milan Jokic. Milan, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting us. So tell me a little bit about the, the top five things that people can do when they're preparing to work with a builder, whether it's just maybe some smaller cosmetic things that they're doing with their home or if they're just completely starting from the ground up. Um, one of the number one things I, I always tell people to do is you, you want to have a budget created so you know where you can start and what you can afford. Um, number two, you want to secure your funding, you know, make sure you have that kind of money. Um, number three, have a clear picture of what you want to build, you know, because then, because then once you start talking to builders and architects, then they can kind of design your project to the amount that you're willing to spend. Um, also, do your research on the contractor that you're looking to hire. You know, he has referrals. Go take a look at his jobs. See what he, you know, see what he's capable of doing, and talk to the people while the jobs are in process. If he doesn't have any jobs going on, there's a reason for that, and he might not be that great of a guy. You know, might not be that great of a builder. So, you know, there, there's a a lot of things you want to do. And once you create that budget, if you wind up talking to your builder first, he can tell you if he's upfront and straightforward, he'll tell you exactly what he can build for that kind of money. If you have a million dollar budget, he'll tell you you can build about a 3,000 square foot house for that. Okay. You know, plus you still have your architect's fees and all the rest of the stuff. But a real good idea is to involve your builder straight from the beginning. That's what I was going to say. So you want to be involved right in the upfront with an architect, with the designer. You want to know what's going on right from the get-go. Absolutely. And that's the easiest way for you to be able to build that team because then you're putting everybody in cahoots together that can all discuss on what's going to happen and mm -hmm. how it's going to get built. You know, sometimes the designer will want to put stone in there that's $50 a square foot and there's 2,000 square feet of that. You're looking at a lot of money right there. You know, you can take that money and put it in somewhere else and still have a nice look. You know, right. and that's why it's really important that the art, you know, that's why it's really important to have the builder involved. When people come to you, what is more unrealistic, their budget or their timeline? The, their budget. Their budget. Yeah. You know, so they I, want a 5,000 square foot house for a million dollars. Yeah, that's, you know, depending on what kind, depending on what you want to do with your finishes and everything and, and you know, the size of the house, it's, it all adds up. You know, a, a 5,000 square foot house for a million dollars might be possible, but it all depends on what you put in your finishes. Right. And a lot of times people come to you with a budget that's half the cost of what they want to build. <laughs> so, are, you, are you honest with them or do you tell them what they want to hear? Yeah, we, the, you know, that's one of the things we do. We're very upfront and direct in the beginning. I'd rather not take on a client giving them false information in the beginning because that's, that's setting the standard right there right. and that's not right to do. Do you, do you work with the client to build in a contingency? Um, we do. We, we always wind up putting contingencies inside of our work. You know, we also warranty all our work too. You know, we, we follow all the California standards, make sure we do a warranty. I mean, for example, we have a job <clears throat> down in San Diego where, which has never happened to us before, but a tub, the spout wound up busting off of it and it was actually the manufacturer's fault, but we took it in. We wound up rebuilding all of it and putting it back together and now we're going to go back to the manufacturer. And it happened again for the second time and it's not wow. none of our craftsmanship that did it. But you know, that's the things that we do for people. So working with a reputable <laughs> business such as yours, you get that insurance that if something might go wrong, you have protection. Absolutely, that's 100% correct. And plus, what it does for me is also the clients feel, you know, they refer us, they feel comfortable with us, and then we will always wind up building their next next place for them because they know they got me on their side. Tell me a little bit about your standards as it relates to craftsmanship. So, when it comes to standards, it all starts from the beginning. You know, the proposal that we propose to you. You know, just looking at the wording, the way we have it typed up, the way we have the font size, everything. Um, you know, it's just like the standards of your foundation. You have to start out doing a nice level foundation, nice and square, so that everything else follows behind it. Um, so, you know, so that your cabinets can align with the walls, everything matches up, you follow the plans, you know, it's so that you don't run into any issues while you're building. What makes you different than other builders? Is, uh, it, that, is it that honesty? Is it that experience? Yeah, I think we believe at MMD Construction that um, the experience should be as flawless as possible and as easy for you and fun. You know, I, I believe that the building process, whether new construction or remodel, should be an amazing experience throughout the whole project. You know, we have, we use certain programs with our company where our 
field supervisors are a part of it, our office staff is a part of it, and then the homeowner as well can jump into that program. They can see all the progress. Um, they can be a part of it as well and write notes to either our field supervisors or our office staff, you know, and see all the different things. Because we do a lot of high-end stuff, so a lot of our owners, I, I've done a job where I haven't even met the owner till the end of the project. Wow. Yeah, and they were very impressed with it, but it allows them to keep in communication with our whole office. They can do payments through their everything. Um, you know, also, we're dependable and honest, you know. That, that I, I run that through my company like no other. you got to be upfront and honest with everybody because, you know, people just get so upset if you, if you, don't, if you lead them on and tell them the wrong stuff. I, I've, I've seen it before on jobs, you know. And, and I, this is I why just contractors and construction companies can get a bad rap. <laughs> totally. It happens a lot, you know. Right. The, con the contractor's hurting for work. He'll wind up just saying whatever he whatever can. Whatever you want to hear. Yeah, to get the job, and that's just not right. I'd rather just pass it up because I'm not going to put myself in that situation because that's not the reputation that I'm going to build. Now, you come from a long line of gentlemen in the construction business. How does it feel for you to carry on the torch here? It's great. You know, my father was a contractor. He was a... Uh, he, he actually did a lot of masonry. He built a couple houses back years ago. Um, my brothers are contractors, and you know, I'm a contractor, and I'm the youngest out of all of them. So um, it, it, it's great. You know, I grew up carrying blocks around at the age of nine, getting paid, I think, like $2 an hour or something <laughs> for my dad. I remember one day I worked 11 hours and I made 22 bucks. I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> That's fantastic. And that yeah. really, I'm sure, built your work ethic, which translates now to how you've built your company. So. Yeah, absolutely. My whole family, you know, they're, they're pretty direct and honest. So, you know, it kind of runs through me as well. Well, we really appreciate you being here. We are not surprised why Nikki just thinks you're the greatest. So thank you so much. Thank you.